Hey everyone! So today I'm gonna film a video showing you how to handle a rabbit or a carrot. Carrot, etc. <laughs> um, so these are only a few positions that I tested on my Angora rabbit to shave him. And he doesn't like shaving, he doesn't like brushing, so they work quite well. And I'm just hoping that they can help some of you guys. So I'm going to start uh, with his bum and then I'm gonna work my way up to the head to show you how to access every part of your rabbit's body. So let's start with the bum. I'll put it head towards you. And you're gonna need an accomplice for this one because once you hold them, you won't be able to do anything because you'll have both of your hands taken. So the first position is this, Hop. and as you can see I am holding the back paws so he can't really kick and I'm supporting the spine with my forearms. So he doesn't really like this one, but it's one of the ones he really accepts easily. Hmm? Are you a good rabbit? And then for the back paws and the back nails, the one I prefer is this one I found on whole cast. So side towards you. Up. And then you just have to take the paw and <laughs> he's learned how to take it back. Up. See? And then he just stays like that so you can cut the nails or you can trim around the leg, etc. Or you can make him dance. Up. Da -da -da -dum. So you see, he's not really scared by that position, even though, <laughs> even though he doesn't like me touching his balls. And then you can do the same with the other leg. And then I guess we're off to see his belly. So for the belly, I have a very simple one. I just, it's gonna be very quick. Okay, hop, hop, and that's all. Uh, I really keep him against me and so that he doesn't feel scared and his spine is supported by my belly and then I just I put the towel on for traction but it's slipping <laughs> and then you can just pet him or uh, you know do whatever you have to do I guess this could work for back nails too if you're feeling like this and you have one free hand so that's good Then, the area he dislikes the most is his chest and under his neck, so I had to be a bit creative with those. So, for the chest, I hold his side against me and I just take one of his front paws between my fingers and I lift gently, just a bit. So he has three paws on the table and he's not really restrained and then I can you won't let And then I can touch it a bit, but as you can see, he's quite not interested in that. <laughs> and then there's the absolute worst area, the neck. So for his neck, I just used the same method I used to give him medicine or to hand feed him with a syringe. I had put my thumb on one side, my other fingers on the other, and I put them in between his jaws, so if you're syringe feeding, it'll make them open their mouth. And if you're not well, it'll give a hold. Here we go. Are you ready? And you just gently lift and you don't touch him anywhere else. And then I can pet him or not. If they, um, if they fight, just let it go. Leave them a few seconds to calm down and start again, very gently, don't get impatient. <laughs> After a few tries, they will understand that you're not trying to hurt them and they will let you do whatever you want to do, even if they get frustrated. Come on. See, every time he's letting me pet him a bit longer. So this is all I have to tell you. <laughs> this is all I have to show you. And frankly, with all of this, I managed to cut his fur myself all over his body. So 
I hope this helped you and have a good day. Goodbye. Oh, I was forgetting. You deserve a treat. Yes, you do. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> Goodbye. Have a good day.